Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and this is the update, the follow-up video to Watch If You Forget. Now, um, I am a 23-year-old female paranoid schizophrenic. About a little over a month ago, I had electroshock therapy to treat my schizophrenia, and I'm just giving you guys an update from, you know, Watch If You Forget took place while I was having the electroshock, and now I want to give you an update on how I've been since the ECT. Um, it's also called electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, electroshock therapy, and that's when um, people shock your uh, brain to treat different types of depression and all kinds of mental illnesses. Since the um, electroshock, I have been doing wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Great. Um, I still have depression. Um, the way I describe it is like before the ECT, it was like the depression was like a really dark, dark night. Now, after the ECT, depression, like, it's day out, but there's still a lot of clouds. So it's still there, but it's a different type and not to the degree that it used to be. Um, uh, since getting the ECT, I have been able to go off all of my um, antipsychotic medication. Uh, right now, I was put on Prozac for my depression, and they are looking to put me on um, another type of a stimulant to help me out with some things. Since having the ECT, my insomnia, which um, I had insomnia for over a year and a half, and just to the point where I was having to take tons and tons of just tranquilizing type medicine to knock me out each night for a few hours, and it's it just bad. <laughs> um, I've been able to sleep on my own now. Uh, right now, I've been taking one just kind of sleeping pill, like over the counter Tylenol PM, just to kind of help me fall asleep. But I mean, even without it, I'm able to take naps sometime, which I haven't been able to take a nap in over a year and a half just because my body could not fall asleep on its own. So that has just been awesome. Uh, all the antipsychotics slowed down my metabolism and different things, and the year and a half I was on them caused me to gain 50 pounds, which I was not happy about. I used to have this rippling six pack. It was awesome. And the 50 pound gain kind of ruined that. Um, a lot of y'all, you know, I made comments on my website and different things about how the weight change really stressed me out because I mean I used to be a personal trainer and stuff so I know how to exercise I'm very you know health fanatic type but since going off the antipsychotics um, I've lost 20 pounds Woo! so yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited uh, I do not have a six-pack right now I'm sorry uh, I just I don't <laughs> spell <laughs> we sit down but yeah I personally don't have a problem with it I'm good with it so yeah uh, the other thing since having the electroshock therapy, I have not had any psychotic episodes. Um, my anger is completely down. I haven't had any wild bursts of anger where I just kind of snapped. Nothing like that. I've been, you know, that part's great. Um, I have had a couple instances where, like, I'll go into Target to get one thing, and then suddenly it's an hour later, and I'm wandering up and down the aisles aimlessly. And it's not like I'm really, like, looking for anything. I'm kind of just walking, looking at the colors. I'm not really thinking. I'm kind of picking up an object, like I pick up a stapler and kind of look at the shape and think about it, it's black, and then put it back, and then I walk, you know, down the next aisle. So, and, you know, I'll do it for like an hour, and then I kind of come out of it, and I can leave then. So, that's happened a couple times to me. Not that big a deal. I always, it only lasts for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then, you know, I'm back. And even when it's happening, I'm just, it's like I'm, I'm here, but I'm not all here. It's just like I kind of, I kind of go into like sleep mode or something, you know? And I just kind of, you know, wander. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about, you know, a lot of the negative stuff with electroshock therapy, but i got to be honest, there have been some negative things, but the good things far outweigh the bad. Um, I was getting some pretty bad OCD towards the, uh, the weeks right up to the electroshock. Like, it took me around three hours each night to get to bed because I was having to compulsively do different things over and over and over again. So, the OCD, completely gone. Uh, my paranoia had gotten just out of control. I couldn't be alone. Um, I couldn't sleep at all with the lights off. I had to have the lights on all the time. I just I couldn't take the darkness, and I couldn't take being alone in different things. I was just hallucinating nonstop. And my paranoia was just through the roof. But um, you know, since the electro stock, I pretty much like I probably have like one percent paranoia, whereas I used to have like ninety-five percent. So yeah, I still have a little bit, but it's not enough to. You know, I sleep now in the complete darkness. I actually, you know, I find the dark relaxing now. Um, I still have hallucinations, but, you know, they don't bother me so much because I don't have the paranoia with the hallucinations. So while I may see stuff move and I may see monsters and I may, you know, just see different things, 
they don't really affect me. It's just kind of like, you know, hanging out with the monsters. They're not really bothering me. They're just kind of chilling on the other side of the room, whereas usually I'd be like, oh my god. You know, <laughs> like all freaking out. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I still see them, but, you know, they're just chilling. So, so yeah, that's my update on electroshock therapy. Update to watch if you forget. That was the preclude video to this, and you can also check out my video, Normal, Living with Schizophrenia. And um, yeah, but just giving you an update, if you're considering electroshock therapy, it is a very big decision to make, and I encourage you to talk to not only, you know, your doctors, research it, um, talk to different people who've had it. I've, had, I've heard a lot of bad stories about it, and as you can listen to my story, yes, there are some negative effects from it. Would I do it again? In a heartbeat. If I have to have it again, sign me up. I mean, it has just significantly improved my life. Just significantly. I'm, it's just amazing. It really is. And um, I'm very thankful I was able to get the treatment. I'm very thankful, um, you know, that I'm just, I'm just very thankful I was able to have it done, you know. And I have a wonderful family who helped me during that time. And it's just, it has been awesome. Cars to pass.